Hi there, Libras. So first of all, let me talk about um, what I'm seeing here. I do see a lot of electronic communication. And then I'm also seeing like you're getting communication, either text, email messages, or um, via phone calls. And then there's like things that you need to get done. So somebody is telling you do this, do that, and step by step. And then you're gonna have to get all of these things done in a timely manner. <clears throat> I'm also feeling as well, people are asking you to run errands. People are, are, are constantly asking you to pick this up, pick that up, get this done. And so it can feel like you're being pulled all over the place. It can feel literally like you're all over the map getting so many things done. And I also feel like there might be new jobs coming in for many of you where you are delivering things. You might be a courier, you might be a driver, you might be a delivery person. So there's just like you're all over the map, like literally just uh, going here, going a lot of places, moving a lot, driving a lot. And I feel like there's an element of financial things coming in, which might lead me to believe like you're doing a job where you are transporting things or driving around, okay? Um, I'm also sensing as well, the financial situation is going to alleviate greatly. So this is a job that I feel would be really, really good for you to try to maintain uh, for the next nine months. Okay, so this, this is going to bleed into 2018. So for the next nine months up until like the um, September timeframe, I feel would be really, really, um, f f it's fortuitous for you to try to keep this job. I see some people as well starting um, to do some type of on the job training. So I feel like the company or the organization is in need of manpower really, really badly. And so they're just like, oh, can you start now? So you're kind of swept away, like you're, you're kind of like brought into a new place. You don't know anything. You don't know anybody. And they're already telling you to do things. And you're just like, wait a minute, do I? Um, am I properly trained? And so they're like, don't worry, we're going to train you as, as you go. So you might have already, you know, like started doing things even without the proper training. And you're going to feel a little bit like, well, this is cool, but am I doing things the right way? So asking other people, like, you know, uh, people, experts in their field around you, asking them, am I doing this the right way? Double check, triple check for sure. I feel like it's going to bode well for you. Don't worry about, you know, having to pester them multiple times. You want to do things right, okay? Because you have to vouch for the product or the things that you deliver. So you need to make sure you do it right, okay? So double check, triple check. Be careful if you're driving around. Make sure you have, like, backup chargers, backup cell phones. If you have an older version, uh, bring it with you just in case, you know, because I feel like there might be transportation issues, okay, like um, GPS malfunctioning, um, the map app doesn't work for whatever reason, or phones just decide to shut down. So just have, you know, spare things. Uh, in the car just in case okay and I also feel as well you know having change like having cash in the car having gift cards on hand so that you can tip people in a very nonchalant way rather than giving them money you can give them like a five dollar gift card or a ten dollar gift card whatever uh, suits you but I feel like that's going to really go over well so having these things already laid out for you in your car or on your person it's going to facilitate a lot of uh, transactions between you and other people. I feel like the new work environment itself, there isn't uh, that, that cattiness. There isn't that sense of competition. There isn't that sense of like, you know, that cutthroat energy where everybody's out for themselves. I feel like there's a lot of harmony in the workforce. I also feel like there's a lot of room for growth. And I also feel the environment is very exciting because you're in different, um, you're, you're in a different place almost like every day or almost every week. So I feel like it's a very, very dynamic environment and it's going to be very good for you. So I'm, I'm happy to see this for you, Libras. Family. Let's talk a little bit about family. We're not always going to agree with them. And, um, you know, here's what I'm sensing. You guys are very diplomatic, right? And I feel like you're dealing with people who are emotionally very easily, um, easily like provoked. So if they're, they feel like they've been jilted or slighted emotionally, 
they're going to make their feelings hurt. So I feel like you might be dealing with people who might be having ta temper tantrums if they don't get what they want. I'm inclined to think children, but I feel like some adults can behave this way as well. I'm also feeling as well, um, you're dealing with people who are kind of like emotionally volatile, you know, like they, they don't know how to keep everything under control. They don't, they don't know how to um, emotionally regulate. And I feel like one of the reasons why they're naturally drawn to you guys is that you guys are very diplomatic. You guys are just very even keel. You guys don't, you know, uh, don't shoot off at the hips. And especially you don't have heavy emotional or explosive emotional displays, especially in public. So I feel like they're naturally drawn to you because of your calm demeanor. But I see a lot of um, people here surrounded by people who are very, very emotionally just volatile. And so you don't really know. It's, it's almost like you have been avoiding dealing with them because of that. And so you kind of sweep things under the rug. And so if you're dealing with people like that, you know, just um, disengage. Okay, you don't, There's no need for you to go through it and put up with the abuse. Just disengage from that relationship. So I feel like there's a lot of disengaging going on. And you're telling people, oh, I'm busy. I'm busy with work. I'm busy with other things. So I can't be there. So I feel a lot of you foregoing possibly like family get togethers or holiday get togethers. And I feel like it's fine. It's going to be good for your emotional health. Okay. Um, so let's talk about, you know, moving into the 20, um, 18 time frame. I feel like you're on a very good trajectory. Things are happening very fast. So you're going to hit the ground running in January, 2018. And I feel like you're doing it in a very uh, optimistic, enthusiastic and directed type of a way. And I feel like for many of you, it's a result of a new job. For others of you as well, it's a um, kind of like a, a sense of, okay, waiting, like anxiously waiting for your life to start, not being under anybody's fingers anymore, not, you know, not having to succumb to anybody's expectations of what you can and can't do or what you're capable of and not capable of doing. So I feel like you're really blossoming and coming into your own, coming into your own sense of empowerment as to what your, where your skills lie, what areas you're really, really good at, and then hyping up those areas or allowing yourself to kind of be in the spotlight where you can emphasize those strengths so that people see you as a force to be reckoned with. So I feel like you're um, moving things around and manipulating things to turn out in your favor, which I feel is really, really good. And I'm also feeling as well, you know, this sense of like forgiveness, forgiving family members for being emotionally volatile. Uh, forgiving but not forgetting and not forgetting that time you know mom kind of uh, stepped on your toes and you know didn't and just pretend it never happened like she she went overboard so I feel like you're forgiving but you're not forgetting and so you're gonna kind of like wield around a shield the next time you interact with people that have proven to be emotionally volatile in the past and so you're going to try to keep them at a distance. You're also going to try to limit your interaction with them, which I feel, I think, I think I mentioned for Leos, they were doing this. I can't f remember if it's Leo or Virgos, but um, the energy I'm sensing is actually, you know, it, it's, it's almost like drawing very clear boundaries, okay? Drawing clear boundaries between you and other people. I'm seeing a lot of air signs energy, uh, I'm sorry, water sign energy. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, if there has been, you know, heavy interaction with them, I feel like these might be the emotionally explosive and volatile characters in your uh, life. And I feel like the problem with them is that, you know, they're, they love too much, they care too much. And it's hard for them to let go. It's hard for them to kind of see the forest for the trees. It's hard for them to let go. It's hard for them to not get caught up in their emotions. And I feel like they're, they could be feeling the financial crunch. And so they're getting a little bit cranky. Okay. Um, I feel like interactions here, if you have a, an earth sign in your midst, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who's very, very supportive. They're also making plans for themselves. They're trying to move on. They're trying to make plans for themselves. They're trying to expand their horizon. So I feel like, you know, let them go. Let them go and let them find themselves. Let them, you know, just have a, a happier future. Okay. So I feel like, you know, continue as you have. And 2018, it's going to be a really, really good year. And I feel like for dual signs in general, it's a number two universal year in 2018. And so relationships uh, will flow very smoothly. And, uh, you, you know, finding new relationship partners for your yourself as well. For those who are single, I feel like it's a really wonderful year for that. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you the very best Libras and I'm really happy to see this for you. Things are really looking up. Okay, take care of yourself and enjoy a blessed holiday season with your loved ones and your family. Bye bye.